general mathematics class. I hope that you are as excited as me in our video lesson for today. So what are we waiting for? Let's begin! Scientists often gather data for observations, experiments, archival studies, and so on. But they are rarely satisfied with the data alone. Scientists want to draw conclusions from those data. They use the data to prove that certain theories are right and the others are wrong. To understand science then, it is important for us to know if it is legitimate or illegitimate to draw conclusions based on the things that we already know. We need to understand the difference between a good and a right argument. That is why in this module, we will talk about logic, the science of argumentation. Before we start, let's check what you already know by answering the pretest found on pages 1 and 2. The first lesson of logic is all about propositions and symbols. You are expected to, number one, illustrate and symbolize propositions. Number two, distinguish simple and compound propositions. A proposition is a declarative sentence that is either true or false, but not both. Remember, the declarative sentence is one of the four types of sentences, namely declarative, interrogative, imperative, and exclamative sentences. A declarative sentence makes a statement or give information. An interrogative sentence asks question or some information about something. An imperative sentence gives command to do something. And lastly, exclamative sentence expresses a strong emotion or surprise. Now let's identify if a given statement is a proposition. Number 1. Rodrigo R. Duterte is the President of the Philippines. Is this statement a proposition? By direct check, this is a declarative sentence and it is true. Therefore, it is a proposition. Number 2. Ouch! Is it a proposition? No, it is not. It is an exclamative sentence. Number three, what time is it? Is it a proposition? Again, it's not because it's an interrogative sentence. Number four, clean up your room. Is it a proposition? It is not because it's an imperative sentence. And lastly, number 5, x plus 2 is equal to 4. Is it a proposition? It is true if x is equal to 2. It is false for the other values of x. So if it is sometimes true and sometimes false, then it is not a proposition. Propositions can be categorized into two, simple and compound. Simple proposition conveys one thought, while compound proposition is composed of two or more simple propositions that are put together using connective words. Examples of simple propositions are 11 is an odd number, 11 is a prime number. From these propositions, we can derive a compound proposition. 11 is both an odd and a prime number. Here are basic logical connectives. Conjunction, disjunction, conditional, biconditional, and negation. If two simple propositions, namely P and Q, are being put together with the word and, then the resulting compound proposition is called conjunction. If the connecting word is or, then the result is called disjunction. If it is in an if-then form, then the result is called conditional. Or, if it is in if and only if form, then it is called biconditional. And lastly, if there is the presence of the word not, then it is a negation. Here are examples of each. 
Let's start with conjunction. Consider two simple propositions. P, 5 is an odd number, and Q, 5 is less than 7. Therefore, our conjunction would be 5 is an odd number and it is less than 7. What other examples can you think of? Let's proceed to this junction. Our P is Glenn will sing in a contest and our Q is Glenn will dance in an audition. Therefore, our disjunction would be Glenn will sing in the contest or he will dance in an audition. What other examples can you think of? Now let's have an example of conditional statement. Our P is Leia works hard and our Q is Leia will be successful. Therefore, our resulting statement would be, if Leia works hard, then she will be successful. What other conditional statement can you think of? Let's have an example for biconditional. Our P is, Lila is a STEM student, and our Q is, Lila likes science. Therefore, our resulting biconditional statement is, Lila is a STEM student if and only if she likes science. What other examples can you think of? And last but not the least, let's have an example for negation. If our proposition P is school year 2020 to 2021 will start on August 24, then our negation would be school year 2020 to 2021 will not start on August 24. What other examples can you think of? I think we are ready for an activity. Simply classify if the proposition is simple or compound. And further classify if it is a conjunction statement, disconjunction, conditional, biconditional, or negation. So let's start. Number one, Venice will take a nursing course. What type of proposition is this? You're right, it's a simple proposition. Number two, his uncle's name is not Vince. What type of proposition is this? You're right. It's a simple proposition in negation form. Let's proceed to number three. April is an intelligent student and a great swimmer. What type of proposition is this? You're right, it's a compound proposition and it's a conjunction. Number four, Julie will either go to Camigan or stay in Cagayan de Oro. What type of proposition is this? You're right, it's a compound proposition and it is a disjunction. And last but not the least, let's proceed to number 5. A positive integer is divisible by 3 if and only if the sum of its digits is divisible by 3. What type of proposition is this? You're right! It's a compound proposition and it is my conditional. So how's your scores? What have you learned today? What are the difficulties that you have encountered? That's all for today and see you on our next video lesson. Goodbye students!